The decision by auto companies to go electric has resulted in high demand for electric vehicle battery packs, which form an integral part of their manufacturing. Startups like Solar Taxi anticipate a fall in business due to the financial muscle of the established automakers in competing with them in sourcing for battery packs. Operations manager Anod Anochia Martin explains. A lot of the mainstream uh, car manufacturers are going into electric vehicle production. Talk about Benz, Rolls Royce, Maserati, Ford. They are all, even Hammer has launched uh, an EV Hammer. So it tells you all these companies uh, will require batteries to power their vehicles. And most of them outsource it from different countries like China. Uh, I think somewhere late 2020, there was a shortage of battery packs because almost all these countries were demanding it from these uh, battery pack producers. So this is an illustration of exactly... A team led by Christopher Amewuho went through the design and research process aimed at improving efficiency and reducing cost of battery packs. Using discarded computer batteries for a trial, a battery arrangement formula of 400 joint cells of 21 by 700 lithium ion cells produces a 7 kilowatt and R capacity battery packs for motorbikes. The cells sourced outside the country are welded together to make them a battery pack through spot welding by nickel strips. A battery management system with sensors helps feed information of health of individual cells to the user of the vehicle. Mr. Amewuho explains. It's an electronic board that manages the behavior and the performance of the cells. It has sensors in there, so this is a temperature sensor which measures the temperature within the battery when you are using it or without using it because it has to protect the battery from exploding. When you install the BMS, you have to program the BMS. Then the BMS manages the battery pack for you. After installing the BMS, you are able to link the batteries to the mobile phone. So we now can communicate with the BMS. So we test it to see exactly how is the individual cells performing. So the ones that we import, you have no idea what is happening here and you can't even tell exactly what is going on in there. Various tests and quality control measures are adopted to ensure efficiency so before packaging in the case difference. for assembly of electric vehicles. Mr. Amewuho explains the cost advantage over imported battery packs. The foreign lead acid batteries, okay, if you are to charge it, you could spend like five cities. But with this, you are paying 4 CD 50 pesos. It looks close, right? But that 5 cities, you are not going to get that capacity output because the chemistry will not give you the, the amount of power you input in there. So if you can travel 140 kilometers paying 4 CD, that the old ones that we're using, the imported ones, will go 80 and you pay 5 cities. And pay five cities. So this, this has more advantage. And also, if you consider, if, even if we import the same type of batteries from outside, the cost is enormous comparatively to what we are doing here. It's, these cells, this pack might cost you somewhere between 6,000, 7,000 cities. But if you are importing the same capacity, before you even get your specification to the supplier, to design and build it this way, it would have taken a longer time. It will cost you somewhere around 14,000 cities. This is an electric vehicle, meaning it runs solely on batteries. This is the future of the batteries being assembled here locally by Solar Taxi Ghana to run on electric cars like this one. So far, what they have are compatible with motorbikes and tricycles being produced by Solar Taxi. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumase.